Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More swings coming at you sent through my Golf mobile app for Android, iPhone, iPad. Categorizes all my videos. I've got many videos on YouTube in easier to digest categories, backswing, grip, putting, hooking, slicing, those kind of things. Also at the bottom, what these guys are doing, send your swing button, you hit that button, you can start recording your swing. You can upload from a camera roll as well. Send me your video of your swing. I can't get to all of them, but I'm doing as many as I can. These swings are normally included in a show called The Golf Swing Weekly Fix, but for this week and maybe in the future, I'm doing one each day to try and get through as many of the sends as I can. So, more swings coming at you. Let's get stuck in. Okay. So, interesting swing here sent through the app. There's some interesting movements. If we look, so if we get the setup for the moment, which we're gonna come back to, what we see on the back swing is we see a little bit of a collapse in the left arm. Now, bent arm, straight arm is a cliche. You don't need a straight left arm or a bent left arm at the top of your back swing. It's irrelevant. It's how you deliver the club is important. I can show you world-class players who have a bolt, straight arm, Ernie Else, and then if you look at someone like Tiger, his arm is not, Bolt straight, it's slightly relaxed. Nick Price, very bent at the top of his back swing. One opens, one majors. Um, so it's a cliche, think straight left arm, but that left arm is a little collapsed at the top. Now there's a reason for this, uh, which we're gonna talk about. If you were to try and fix that left arm without fixing what I think is the root cause, you'll be wasting your time. So we're gonna come back to that. Then on the downswing we see, again, issues in that left arm, still collapsing, breaking down through impact. That's gonna make delivery of the club head quite confused, quite difficult. Definitely like to firm some of those things up. If we look at, say, my swing here, I mean, I'm quite the opposite, really. My arm's very straight, always has been. Top of my back swing, again, it's pretty straight. This isn't the reason why I'm a good or bad player. It's just something like you're observing here. On the way through, then my arms tend to kind of unite together on the way through as I swing my arms ahead of my body. I'm doing all that to try and deliver the club to the ball in the most repeatable way in a way that I control the face in relationship to the, to the path then in relationship to the target as well. Um, so look, let's go back to the root of yours. So obviously arms could be better, which might help with some club delivery. Now look, if we go to setup, you need to watch a few videos. This is an interesting swing. I get lots of swings like this and it shows you how golf is a real precision sport. Okay, um, you gotta be very precise. We're talking degrees and millimeters of different strike patterns will create different shots. So it's a real precise game. You're swinging a club at high speeds, it's got a strike and object, so the golf ball, with precision. Now, you tend to start with your weight on the outside of your right foot on this foot, which isn't so great. Your grip, you look very much like the club is right high through your palm, going right through the middle of your palm, where we want it lower through the base of your palm, almost top of your fingers. Stronger hold, weaker hold. You've got it in the weaker position. Now what happens when you get that club in the weaker position is it works your wrists in a different way, which makes it harder for you to actually put a wrist hinge in there, so a, 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 an angle in your wrist in relationship to your forearm. So if you can't get that angle, you've got to get the club behind your head, so you might start to use what you're doing a little bit more, your left elbow. So to try and fix what's going on with your arms would be really hard if you don't sort that grip out. Watch some grip videos. I've got loads. There's loads of good instructors on YouTube who've got loads. Where it sits in the palm is the key for you. Not how many knuckles you're seeing. That all looks fine. It's where it's sitting in that left hand palm, which is going to make you struggle. You also look a little bit like your shoulders are pointing left of target. So like you face the ball. So if the ball was in the middle of your stance, Facing it will kind of square your shoulders off, so parallel to your target line-ish, okay? If you push the ball forward, which you have, because it's a longer club, a driver, which is fine, but then you just turn and face that ball to hit it, that's going to leave your shoulders a long way open, which is also going to get you in a mess. So you can see here, there's lots of little faults, which are going to all add up to some pretty bad shots, as well as some good ones when you do coordinate the club onto the ball. For me, again with this one, similar to another lesson, it's all about that grip, getting that grip sorted out in a stronger position. So it, oh, that's a bad line there because it's the left hand more than the right. Um, it's about getting that grip sorted out so you don't feel that you have to make such collapsed movements in your swing, such loose movements, which is definitely going to make club delivery quite difficult. If you came for a lesson from me, we would definitely, definitely start with that hold in that left hand before we try any of the 
bigger faults that you might be seeing when you record your swing and other people might be pointing out because you can't fix them until that left hand position is in a strong position. If you couldn't change that grip, then we'd have to work with that left arm to get the club delivered. You can still deliver the club fine with that, but I think a simple grip change will transform the way you're thinking about your, the way you think about your golf swing and the way you deliver the club to the ball and then in turn hit better golf shots. Hope that helps. Thanks for sending. Think much more precision. You've got energy and power. You're swinging athletically. I would just like to see a lot more precision in setup. So the way your body is set up and grip to try and get some precision in your movements to get that club delivered in a more precise way. Thanks for listening to uh, Swing. Thanks for buying the app. Speak to you all soon. Post comments down below. Love to hear what you've all got to say. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.